Hello there, it is I, the Jordy Nerd, and I am back again with another video and a new camera. I'm 80% uglier than I was before, and that's all thanks to my friend Ben for letting me have his cool-ass camera. Uh, yeah, me and Ben do a podcast, the link will be down for, below for that. Please go and check it out, We're trying to hit 200 subscribers. It's a really fun time, we we'll talk about terrible movies. We've done Junior and Stop My Mom Will Shoot in the past two weeks. You should definitely check those out when they're available. Um... Also, link for the Patreon is down below if you want to help uh, support this channel and you get um, unedited reactions in return. And yeah, if you're on the Patreon, definitely check out the podcast as well. It's great. Um, yeah, let's just get this now and have some fun. You only have a few hours left in your first year, so why not do as many amazing good deeds for other people as you possibly can by midnight, just in case? I know. I know. All right, I'll take it out. <laughs> I'm a little tired. Okay, play off. That Just in case, what though? Speaking of which, the theme is one year down, infinity to go. Dress is London black tie. That means Knightsbridge black tie, not Kensington. Or heaven forbid, West Brompton. <laughs> Indeed, yes, heaven forbid, West Brompton. Yes, no, oh, bloody hell, darling. No clue what she's talking about. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. Also, just after midnight in order to reset my process. One more point, Graham. I'm going to suggest that they make toasts about each other, celebrate their ups and downs, demonstrate personal growth, blah, blah, blah. Humanity is saved. <laughs> <laughs> One more day, guys. Let's finish strong. And to that end, as you might know, I've been practicing human magic. Oh. Ta-da. Oh. <laughs> so, I was thinking. No, the magnificent Dr. Presto is not performing tonight. Come on. That's some bullshit right there. I mean, look at Jason's face alone. Remember that security cam footage of Solange and Jay-Z fighting in the elevator? I learned to read lips. Turns out she was yelling, no fair. I wanted to be the one to push the button. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it wasn't as juicy as some people maybe thought it was. Yeah, I remember that. Um, she did kick the actual shit out of Jay-Z, and Jay-Z just stood there and took it. Like, I do not know what was going on, but alleged allegedly, allegedly, he cheated on Beyonce. Why the fuck would you do that? Anyway, moving on. So crazy that we're at the end of this thing and we have no idea how we did. Janet, any chance you could get a look inside that obelisk? Check that magic scoreboard. There is a chance, yes. About one in 970 trillion. Let's give her a whirl. So there's still a chance is, is what you're saying. That's what I'm hearing anyway. It did not work. <laughs> uh, uh, it didn't go well. It Eleanor and Michael are up to something and it's focused on us. I mean, there are like 300 people in the neighborhood and somehow they just spend all of their time talking to the six people in this room. Well, I mean, who else are they gonna talk to? <laughs> Dumb shorts, Kathy. <laughs> what is your problem with her? I mean, shorts, Kathy, <laughs> what isn't my problem with her? Yeah, that is also my issue with Dumb Shorts, Kathy. She's dumb, she wears shorts, she's called Kathy. It's, it's quite problematic. John, you? Are you okay? You look sweaty. Oh, no, he's fine. He always sweats when he's meditating. He calls it sweatitating. Okay, let's assume certain things are odd about this place. What is your theory? I don't know. Maybe this isn't the good place. Maybe it's a test. My best guess, it's some kind of experiment. We're being observed in a closed environment. I totally thought that in, like, episode two. I was like, this isn't the good place, man. So you can't be. I knew, I knew. I had his all fooled. <laughs> I fucking no clue. Oh, I got goosebumps when I found out, though. I've got a special mission for us. Oh, I... Oh, good. Muffin and Ducky are on the case. <laughs> How's it going? Awesome. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh yeah, terrible. <laughs> Simone knows the neighborhood. And Michael wrote, "Here's a trippy little ditty about a train to Groovy City. Open up your freaky crystal mind, and we'll have a cosmic good time." See, that makes me think we're in hell. Look, we tried to prove your theory, but it feels like we came up empty. Cheaty, there is so much evidence they've been lying. How can you not see that? Eleanor told me that this was her first neighborhood. Maybe some of these are just honest mistakes. See, now that's what I really thought. It was Michael's first neighborhood. Maybe it was just honest mistakes. 
And that's how they get you. Trust nobody. I just ran out of creative juice. Focus. We cannot let this slip away from us at the last second. New plan? Forget the toasts. We do nothing. We hope that our early successes make up for the embarrassing mess we've become. Like Facebook <laughs> or America. Okay, sound good? Michael? Wow, harsh words. I really like you, but I don't think we're soulmates. Because I don't think soulmates actually exist. Right. I mean, I, I do agree. I don't think soulmates exist because obviously the concept of a soul it, 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 it's just your conscience, isn't it, really? Uh, but I do think that you can meet somebody and be like, wow, we have a really deep connection. No, uh, you don't know what that connection might be eventually, but in that moment, you'd be like, oh my God, we have this connection. And it could be romantic. It could just be in a, a friendship way. It, I, I believe in that, if that makes sense. The magnificent Dr. Presto will transform your... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> If it somehow helps, there's a small dove in your pocket. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so is this Michael's doing? I kind of think that it might be, but I've been wrong before. I've been wrong the whole time, so let's be honest. Okay, so what do we do? Try to climb down or wait for the rope? Neither, we get the fork out of here. Chidi, a giant hellhole just opened up and swallowed one of us. I don't care what this place really is. Giant holes are bad and we should go. Or giant holes are bad, so if someone falls into one, you try to help get him out. So ah! I'm not scared. I'm shouting so you know I'm okay. I am very brave. <laughs> Ooh, I hope this works, we basically. That is also why in horror games I squeal. Because it's it's a shriek of a warrior. It's not because I'm scared. So just letting you know that in advance for ha for Halloween when I do scary games. Hoping for the best never works. It's called prevent defense. You don't take any chances and just try and hang on to your lead, but prevent defense just prevents you from winning. It's always better to try some. Jason, that was coherent. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It's a good plan, Michael. Basically, it's a Hail Mary. It's frisky, but if we complete it, we win the game. That was two good analogies in a row. I'm now worried that he's a demon in a Jason suit. <laughs> I'm like 70, I was going to say 70, 40, but that's just bad math. But yeah, I'll, I'll go 70, 40. Well, I respect your position. I respect yours. Look, I know wow. everything's really scary right now, but I just have to say it. That was the most boring breakup I've ever seen. <laughs> Trust me, boring is is way better. You just want a boring one. Guys, we are so sorry about your ordeal. Mm. We just have a few questions for you. Uh, where are John and Simone? We can't find them. They left. I don't know where they went. Typical. Disloyal jerks. You know, man, actually, they really tried with you and you made it very hard to be your friend. You wanna know what happened? They got jealous because I'm going to the best place. They bugged out. You're not going to the best place. Don't you get it? They're torturing you. They're torturing all of us. There is no best place, especially for you, my dude, because you're a horrible, horrible person. Look, Chidi, whatever happens next, I, I, uh, I need to say this to you. All right, I, I am, I am so, so, so. Well, you know what they say. It's zero o'clock in the sky somewhere. So, I mean, does that count? Did, was he going to say sorry? Or was he going to say he was soggy? Maybe because of the sweat. Who knows? Wow, so yeah, there's 13 episodes of this season, so I am excited to continue on with it. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but I guess I'll find out in the next episode. Thank you as ever for coming out to watch these. I do appreciate you. you're all awesome, and I will see you all again very soon for more The Good Place reaction videos.